Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? This is Harvey coming back at you with video number two. Man, I know it's been like probably a month since the first video came out, so I'm sorry about that, y'all. You know, I'm just still trying to figure this whole thing out. <laughs> um, so this one wasn't as set up as I wanted to, but I felt that I needed to reach out to people right now to just, you know, check in and just to give out some words that have been crossing my mind lately um this is going to be a really short video so uh don't take any offense to it please if you hear any background noise i apologize i'm picking up my kids from school but i wanted to get this out to you guys so i want to talk about being a victim um you know i've been playing this victim role for a while guys and the reason why i want to bring up this situation or this scenario is because a lot of us play the victim you know we play a victim in our lives you know regardless of what we have you know going on in our lives we like to play a victim it's not the fact that we like to play a victim it's the, it's the fact that we make ourselves the victim and the reason why I make ourselves the victim is because it's the easiest thing to do it's easier than taking responsibility. It's easier than trying to say, okay, let me fix something. It's easier than trying to work harder at, at something better. It's, you know, it's easier to just let someone walk over you. It's easier to let someone tell you all your faults, you know. And that's the crazy part about being a victim, guys. It's like you don't have to be one. And I've been playing a victim for a long time. In a lot of different parts of my life, you know, um, I'm not going to get into all those parts, but a lot of different parts of my life. If you guys can think of some, I'll bring up some scenarios and people play a victim in relationships. People play a victim in their goals, business, uh, work, um, health. Um, it's always playing a victim, you know. And I can tell you for sure for health, like that's personal to me. So health, I have definitely played a victim to myself. Um, I can't blame anybody but myself for the way I am and the, the, you know, the way I've, you know, not transformed myself, you know, because there was a point where I was on it. I was doing great. I was losing a crazy amount of weight. And now, you know, that I've gained that weight back, it's crazy, you know, and it's like, why did you get that weight back? Because I, I played a victim because I let something get into my head. Okay. I'm sorry. I keep looking down. <laughs> this is difficult for me, but I, I let something get into my head and you know, let it fester and I let it, something get in my head grow and let it just be, you know, something that consumed me, you know, and I start to believe in all the, the hype, you know, the hype of I can't be this person or I can't do this or, you know, you're not good enough, you know, and <clears throat> and then, you know, it's, it's, you know, I lost, I lost a lot of weight at one point in time, right? Um, some of you guys may know, I've seen pictures, if you guys have not, it's okay. <laughs> I'm not going to put those pictures back up because it makes no sense because I'm not that no more. But I lost like, like 90 pounds or something crazy like that, you know, um, and then um, put it all back on uh, and then some um, because I played a victim, you know, so I let people get in my head and, and and it started with like one little saying you know there was someone i can't remember where i was at it's like oh you're doing a good job but you got a long way to go still i'm like yo man like that, that hurt you know and i don't even know this person that literally hurt me like i got a long way to go like oh i just dropped 90 pounds what the heck you know so but you know definitely there was still that was like the halfway point and and he was kind of right you know like i still did have a long way to go and the crazy part is and most of you guys know that silver lost weight it was maintained off or or set that struggle is when you when you when you lose a certain amount of weight to get to that you know that halfway point is great but when you set second half of the weight loss journey it is the most toughest part of weight loss journey um so, you know, that's that, you know, the, 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 the first, the first half of it's easy. It's the second half of it. that's so hard, you know, and then there's temptation around us, right? Temptation kills us because we don't know how to deal with temptation. You know, we have to figure out stress relievers through temptation, you know, like this is tempting me. How can I adapt to this? What can I change about myself? And so 
you know, I try to find like positive hobbies that work for you, you know, reading, um, doing something like some people like the gym, you know, perfect. But I'm just not, I'm not one just to keep this at a health thing or losing weight, but you know, there's just a lot of different scenarios with this. So just wanted to, you know, put it out there. Um, I just think you come to a crossroads in your life where you say, it's time to take my life back. It's time for me to step up. It's time for me to really embark on everything that I want to embark on. And you can't let people get in your way. Even the people that are the most closest to you. There's going to be people that's in your, probably even in your inner circle. And guess what? They're not going to be there no more. You're going to kick them out. Are they able to get back in? Yeah. Once they change their mindset. So, um, it's crazy, right? So once they change their mindset, then maybe, and it's, it's a big maybe, they can come back. But if they don't change that mindset, nah, man, we cool. You know, I think you're, think you're a nice person, you're a cool person, but, you know, we just can't be as how we once were, you know. I always have love for you, but we can't be how we once were, you know. My mind is elevated to a different level than yours has. And unfortunately, if I go, if I even let you, you know, bring me to that level it's gonna push me down a flight of stairs and sometimes you either get really hurt or you can end up dead so you pick which one <laughs> is gonna be but you know I, I'd, I'd rather not be in that scenario you know I would be lifted up you know what I mean lifted up um to glory um and let God just you know guide me and put the right people in my life you know so those are things that I can really say, you know, about not being a victim. It's time to take your life back. It's time to stop stressing about the next day, the next thing, um, just to how you look about yourself, how you feel about yourself, the, how the job is working, how, you know, you tried this, you tried that, and nothing seems to pan out. Well, I'm telling you guys today that there is a way to stop being a victim. All right? And it's that day when you just say, enough is enough. No, seriously, just say it right now. Enough is enough. And then I want you to say it like crazy, like strong to yourself. Look in the mirror, go to yourself. Yo, enough is enough. Like, you know, if you get stronger than that, man, I'm scared. I'll be scared of my old self. You know what I mean? So, um, but yeah, that's literally what you want to do. Work on that. Let's let's make this happen. Tell me how that works out for you guys. I would like to definitely hear some comments from everybody, but tell me how that works out because enough is enough. Today is a day of the rest of your life. Today is a day you make that change. Write down today's date on a piece of paper, in your journal, in your computer, whatever it is, say the date, and then we can convene back to this time again um, and next week a month and whatever and we'll be like yo what was today what was today on your calendar what happened this time last year and see where you see how far you've come see exactly where you have come see how far you have come to changing your life for the rest of your life and then you can say man i look back and wow So I hope that uh, helps someone out today. I know it's helped me. Um, Y'all can see some major changes in my life for real. So uh, stay tuned. Um, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Man, we're going to the top, y'all. We're going to the top. I'm only taking people that going to change that mindset, though. So if you change your mindset, you go right there with me. We are going to the top. Everybody have a great day. You know, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this opportunity to speak today. Hopefully, I reach someone out there. And, um, yeah, I believe there's no mistakes, you know, in life. There's just opportunities, and we can learn from them. So I thank you guys. I love you guys. Have a great day. Hey, today it starts. Let's go.